Hello, Mark here. How are you all? Good, good, good. Fine, that's great. Oh, you're not so well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we've had a few storms today, haven't we? I don't know if you have one where you are. We certainly did here for a little while. I do enjoy a good thunderstorm. Yeah, well now then, what we're doing here today is I don't know if you... Well, no. I don't think I actually did a video of it, actually thinking about it. But I did actually do a cat car with a group of cats, which I think is called a clouder of cats. And I don't know how many cats there were, but there were quite a few. And uh, I had a few people say to me that I ought to do a dog one. So I started doodling and did some rough sketches of dogs in a group, different breeds. And I'm not really a doggy person as such, so don't ask me what they are, what make they are, I'm not too sure. I think this one, well I know what this one is, this is a, a Yorkshire Terrier, which is kind of a cute little thing. And they do come actually incredibly small. I saw one once. Now I don't know if this was photoshopped or not. But it was sat on the palm of somebody's hand. So I tend to think maybe it was. I know that uh, people tell me that they've seen very small Yorkshire Terriers. But I, don't, I think they might be hamsters or even meeses or mices depending on what part of the world you come from but uh, yes this this little Yorkie I quite enjoy painting these little dogs I mean this is going to take a while because uh, they're quite sort of uh, messy little things really with their fur needs to go every which way and uh, they're a bit like the uh, dog version of Boris Johnson I suppose but uh, an awful lot cuter it has to be said but uh, what I've done is gradually build it up so you start off with light colours I mean, really, you want to get a basic wash or something on the back, there's a build from there. But as usual, what I've done is I've started this little fella from the eyes, because they have beautiful eyes, Yorkies. Very bright. They do tend to yap a little bit. But then most terriers do. Jack Russell's, oh, dear, oh dear. But, uh, I don't mind dogs barking, I have to be honest with you. Not something that I get kind of cross about. I know some people do, but uh, no, sorry. I try not to get too cross about anything these days. Far too many serious things happening in the world. And what the hell has happened to Facebook? I don't know what's going on there. Everywhere I look, videos of violence and oh and some of the gory pictures that people have put down I don't know I don't know if well I don't know if I should stay with Facebook as long as I got to be honest with you because I don't really like the way it's going it used to be quite a fun place to go and have a laugh with people but uh I don't like unfriending people, but we're getting very close to that situation where we're going to have to get rid of some of these people that keep putting these really negative. But I don't know, because maybe they've got an agenda, I don't know. They seem to have, I don't want to get involved in that kind of thing if I can help it. That's why I stick to what 
I'm doing here. I know what you're going to say. We all should get involved. But uh, nobody kind of listens to me anyway. So what I say is not going to make a great deal of difference to anything. And I convert, I've seen a bit on the news. Some of the people that so-called represent these groups of young people really ought to spend a little bit more time finding out about who they're talking about. I mean, I saw an interview, well, I see it again today, actually, with a young girl talking, being interviewed on Channel 4 News. And when she was asked what she thought about Winston Churchill statues, she actually went and said that she hadn't met him, so she couldn't really say if he was a racist or not. Uh, the fact that uh, I think it was 40 odd years that they buried him, because I was, I think I was about five, I think it must have been about 62, 1962 or 63, 62 I think. When they had, because we had the day off from school for the funeral of Winston Churchill. That's the only time I think I've ever had a time off school. Our teachers never went on strike, never did anything like that. Sad, really. Uh, anyway, I digress. But anyway, she didn't know. She said she hadn't met him. And I thought, good grief, if you're going to represent groups of people and get political, you really ought to find out what you're talking about. Especially before you go on national television. I mean, she completely made a fool of herself. Unbelievable. I know a friend of mine once said to me that if I kept my mouth shut, people might think I was clever, but of course the trouble is you tend to open your mouth and then you actually prove to them that you're not. <laughs> Which is... Uh, well, I was only young. I'm not too young now, but uh, I still say dark things. And I still get things wrong. But uh, that's why I tend to stick to what I do in, with the pictures of things. Anyway, this is going to be quite good fun. This is going to be done over probably a few videos, I don't know how, what number, I mean the last one went up to part 5, so this could e easily go up to that sort of uh, level, because I want to, you know, I mean, I want to show you how I do these things, and what you have to bear in mind as well is the size, I mean, normally when I do a pet portrait, I'm working on a, a lot bigger picture than this, so it's easier to put the detail in. But this is almost like drawing, drawing miniatures and painting miniatures. Anyway, if you like the video of young Yorkie here, he's not finished. I will finish him over the next few weeks. Please subscribe. And uh, that would be excellent. And I'll kind of see you next time. And uh, stay safe, stay well. And... Let's hope for a better world. Okay, now you take care. Bye-bye.